Here's a man who needs very little introduction, Sherlock Holmes, and this is his statue outside Baker Street Station. Now, you might have heard that Sherlock Holmes lives at 221B Baker Street, but where is that? Well, this feels like a good place to start, the Sherlock Holmes Museum at 221B Baker Street. It is officially 221B. They got permission from Westminster Council to use that August door number even though it's between 237 and 241. So it's the only out of sequence door number in the whole of London. Now the Sherlock Holmes Museum, it's a good laugh if you're into your Sherlock Holmes. It's got a recreation of his study, uh, Dr. Watson's room, various scenes from the books. It's quite a nice little museum. But this can't be the official 221B Baker Street that Arthur Conan Doyle wrote about in his books. And we're going to go and find out why. Well, if you're wondering what is in the sequential 221 position on Baker Street, it's this lovely Art Deco building behind me. And that was the home to Abbey National Building Society for many decades. And they actually employed a secretary who would open mail sent to 221B Baker Street for Sherlock Holmes. And it was her job to correspond with those people. Now they actually got into a dispute with the museum when the museum opened in 1990 about who should be receiving Sherlock's mail and eventually the museum won the day when Abbey National moved out of there in 2002 and now most fan mail goes to the Sherlock Holmes Museum. Well the two sites we've seen already, the museum and the Abbey National site, neither of those can have been what Arthur Conan Doyle was thinking of when he was writing the Sherlock Holmes stories because that part of Baker Street was called North Baker Street at the time and Baker Street only came as far as here maybe a little bit further north. It's not exactly clear where Sherlock Holmes and Dr Watson where their address should have been but the best candidate is behind me where Baker Street meets Blandford Street. There are clues in several of the novels and short stories, particularly the adventure of the empty house in which Holmes and Watson make their way through Marylebone and certain streets are described. And it gives a location somewhere around here. It doesn't look particularly <laughs> Holmesian today, though if we come and look around on Blandford Street, the housing here is very much as it would have been in the time of Holmes and Watson at the end of the Victorian era. Now plenty of other places have stood in for 221B Baker Street over the years, most famously the building behind me. Now fans of the BBC Sherlock series with Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman will immediately recognise Speedy's Cafe there which appears in nearly every episode. Holmes and Watson take rooms above that cafe and uh, it's on North Gower Street which is a good kilometre from Baker Street but it's a lot quieter to film down here, a lot to, narrower roads and the brick buildings look a lot more period piece than modern day Baker Street. Now I'd recommend going to that cafe, it's a nice down to earth greasy spoon and despite the huge number of tourists they managed to keep a nice friendly atmosphere uh, and a good fry up can be had in there. But my favourite version of 221B is here behind me at the Sherlock Holmes pub in Charing Cross. Now it's a little bit of a touristy pub, uh, it's fairly average sort of place for beer but you go upstairs here and there's a wonderful model of Sherlock Holmes's study with lots of little clues dotted around from the various stories and the waxwork of Sherlock Holmes in there I think he looks very much like Vladimir Putin which adds an extra frisson to the whole display. Now the site of this pub is also where the Northumberland Hotel used to be uh, which Sherlock Holmes fans will know featured in the Hound of the Baskervilles the place where Henry Baskerville stayed while he was in town consulting Sherlock. So this whole area, it's a bit of a mecca for Sherlock fans and I'd encourage you to go inside, have a pint, and then head upstairs to look at the model. So there we go, that's the various versions of 221B Baker Street around town. There are lots of other sites associated with the great detective and Dr Watson all over London. If you want to find out more, I've actually read every single short story and novel and mapped every location in those novels, hundreds of points, and I've made a Google map of it, and you can find that through the link. Uh, otherwise, get out, explore, go to the pub, go to the museum, and enjoy Sherlock Holmes.